crowned in majesty. You hold the moon in stars. Oh Lord, how great you are. You rose in victory. the lion and the lamb. Lord, be glorified. You're the great I am. Lord, be glorified. Prince of peace, you're everything I need. Mm. church. Praise the Lord. As I was praying before service, there was a scripture that came to my mind in Luke chapter 11, verse 1. It says, and it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he had ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. And he said unto them, when you pray, say, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Before, the very first thing you do when you call out to God, there's a reason why we have an order to our service. The very first thing you do is you call out to God and say, holy is your name. Church, this opportunity, this time of worship is a time to cry out to God and say, God, you are worthy. You are holy. Lord. Praise the Lord. You know the angels cry out before God and say, holy, holy, holy. Praise the Lord, church. We need to, in this building this morning, cry out to God and lift up his name because he is worthy. He has done so many things for us. You know, Pastor Larry said a few weeks ago, if he doesn't do a single thing for you again, he is worthy. But we know that he is on the throne and that he is continuing to do things on our behalf. We may not see them, but he's working on our behalf. Church, let us lift our hands right now and call upon the name of God. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for what you've done. We thank you for the miracles that you've already performed in our life. And we know that you're going to perform more. We know that we come this morning sick in our body. We come this morning with ailments, Lord. We come with things that are burdening our heart, heavy burdens that we cannot bear, Lord. But we know that you can take all of those in Jesus' name. And we cry out to you in faith this morning, believing that you are, you are able, that you are the one and you are the rewarder of those that diligently seek you. And we pray this in your precious and holy name. And everybody say amen. 
Praise the Lord, church worship with the praise team this morning. Amen. Come on, keep giving my hand praise this morning. God, we're grateful to be in your house. Grateful to worship you this morning, Jesus. If you have a little joy because of God in your life, come on and give him some praise. Come on. He became sin who knew no sin that we might become his righteousness. His body was broken for our transgressions. But I'm so glad that's not where the story is. Come on, the lamb. The lamb that was slain that day rose in victory. Come on, put your hands together. And since that day, sin has lost its grip on me. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say he's alive.
Jesus this morning. Come on, he's worthy in this place. You are the undefeated one, my light and my salvation. When the wicked, my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Come on, how do you believe that this morning? Come on, he's under your feet. Come on. Give him a shout. He's worthy in this place. Come on, and say he's omnipotent. Omnipotent, almighty, defender, my victory, my refuge. The one I run to, you are the God. You are the God of the breakthrough. Come on, how do you believe that this morning? That He is the God of the breakthrough. Come on. Breakthrough. You are the God of the breakthrough. And when I can't see my way through, and I really don't know what to do, I look to you. Breakthrough. You all fall down when I shout through.
down when I shout through A stronghold prays when I pray through So I'm gonna praise you You are the God You are the God of Breakthrough in my heart Breakthrough in my mind Breakthrough in my spirit Breakthrough in my soul Breakthrough in my weakness Breakthrough in my struggle You are the God You are the God of the breakthrough in my worship Breakthrough in my praise Breakthrough when I lift to glorify your name Breakthrough when I dance and breakthrough when I shout You are the God Come on and sing it Breakthrough in my heart Breakthrough in my mind Breakthrough in my spirit Breakthrough in my soul Breakthrough in my weakness Breakthrough in my struggle You are the God You are the God of the breakthrough in my worship Breakthrough in my praise Breakthrough when I live to glorify your name Breakthrough when I dance Breakthrough when I shine Come on, declare with your whole heart Breakthrough, breakthrough Breakthrough in my heart Breakthrough in my mind Breakthrough in my spirit Breakthrough in my soul Breakthrough in my weakness Breakthrough in my struggle You are the God you are the God of the breakthrough in my worship, breakthrough in my praise, breakthrough when I live to glorify your name, breakthrough when I dance, breakthrough when I shout. You are the God, you are the God of the breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. You are the God, you are the God, you are the God of the breakthrough. of a shout. Let's give him a shout. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good to see each and every one of you in the house of the Lord this morning. We want to thank you all for being here. We want to thank all of you that are viewing online. It is good to be in the house of the Lord. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. God is good. As I was sitting over there, I saw the praise team, at least they were wearing green. I thought, oh man, I forgot my green this morning. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. But you know what? But you know what? It's, it is a happy St. Patrick's Day. <clears throat> praise the Lord. You're, you're saying, you know, Brother Chris, why are you talking about St. Patrick's Day, right? We all know what happens on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> you get pinched if you're not wearing green, right? Um, but praise the Lord, you know, in, in all these things, there is something, there is a reason why we celebrate this day. And it's not to drink green beer, right? Right, at my work, at my work, uh, for the, they, they wanted to celebrate uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day by giving me a Lucky Charms bar, right? That's their idea of happy St. Patrick's Day, right, Lucky Charms. But praise the Lord, you know, you, you, you look at that name St. Patrick that actually is something Christian. It is something religious, praise the Lord. Um, and I think it's very interesting. I'm just going to mention this this morning. St. Patrick was actually a slave. And he wasn't even Irish. But he was a Welsh slave who, went, who was a, a slave in Ireland. And he got free 
and he went back to England. And when he got back there, he was converted to the gospel of Jesus Christ. He learned about Christ, and the Lord called him to go back to the land of his bondage. Right? He gets this new gospel. He leaves the island that he was bound, and the Lord sends him back to Ireland, and this time you're going to preach the gospel. You're going to preach the gospel in your land of captivity and the land of bondage. And we all know the story that he converted kings over in Ireland. He preached to the Druids and to the pagans over there. And, you know, it is, he is a national hero in Ireland because he converted the nation to Christianity. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, and I was thinking about this morning because some of us, some of us in this building right here, and we can all say that we were in bondage. And we were in captivity out there in the world. Amen. That one day the Lord is preparing us Amen. to return to the land of our bondage. But this time we are going to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're not going to be with them in their captivity. We're not going to partake of their captivity. Amen. But we are going to bring them something that will take them out of captivity. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is the gospel of Jesus Christ. So praise the Lord and happy St. Patrick's Day. It's not... It's not with how the world celebrates. The world doesn't want you to think about the real reason we celebrate the holidays we do. Right? They want you just to focus on the partying and the drinking. And that's, that's good enough for you. Right? He didn't, he didn't remove snakes out of Ireland. That's not what he did. I think that's what I learned when I was in school. He didn't get rid of snakes. Right? It, it, it is totally something religious and what he did in converting a nation to Christianity. Praise the Lord. But again, it is good to be in the house of the Lord. As far as announcements this morning, we do have classes. I know we have the, the little ones, the preschool, the, uh, the children. And Reverend Woods, do we have the teens? They're in class too. So all the kids are in class. Praise the Lord. Um, just remember our service Wednesday night, Wednesday night, uh, 6.30 prayer, 7 o'clock. Uh, we're going to have uh, the word of God shared on Wednesday night. Anything else, Pastor Larry? I'm sure you'll clean it up. I'm, the men's camp, men's camp, if you are able, if you are all able to move things around, to ask for time off, I encourage you to go to the men's camp, and you know, Pastor Lee, I'll be honest with you, like, with all the stuff going on with me, and, and, and the moving process, and things are in boxes, you know, for a split second, I thought, well, maybe, maybe I shouldn't go, I, I reconsidered that really quickly, Pastor Larry, and said, you know what? Uh, it's like I said last Sunday, I've always put God first. So even if everything I own is up in boxes, I'm going to be at that camp. <laughs> and I'm going to be praising God because he is worthy, right? And I am going to receive a blessing when I go over there to the men's camp. I know that right now I'm going to get fed and I'm going to receive a blessing. But not only that, the Lord can actually use me to be a blessing to other men. And so I want to be there and I want to do my part and be a part of the kingdom of God. And so if you have an opportunity to go to the men's camp, this is my, my opportunity to let you know you will have a wonderful time. Right? You will have a wonderful time. You'll get to know, uh, each, we'll get to know each other in a way that, we've, that, you don't, that you just don't get to know somebody on Sunday morning or Wednesday night. You just, so, you know, it's different when you sleep in a bunk with them and you just, you know, you, you, you share a room with them and you talk to them. And I remember last time I went, I went once and... I remembered that when we have this, I'm going to go back again. Unfortunately, it got stopped for COVID, but it's back again. And I just remembered staying up late and talking about God. And I don't know. I remember one time, Reverend Woods, it was me and you. We were just talking. And I think other people started falling asleep, but it was just me and you talking one night. And I'm just excited about that. Praise the Lord. When you're in a company of fellow believers that have the same interests, the same desires, the same goals, you want the same things. There's, it's an unusual thing to be in the company of fellow believers because we, we rub shoulders with people at work and in the world and they have different desires and different goals than we do, right? We can't open up to them. Like you can open up to a brother or sister in the Lord. You can really open up and tell them and share them the things that you're struggling with, the things that you need help with, and that's gonna be a wonderful opportunity, so I encourage you every man if you have the opportunity to go go you will be blessed praise the lord praise the lord and pastor larry has promised we would get good tacos right good tacos in india that's what he that's what he said praise the lord 
Praise the Lord. Last time, Pastor Larry, I didn't get any. I didn't get any. I think you fell asleep. And I remember whoever was driving the van just went right through Indio. And we missed it. So this time I want, I want to taste some of those tacos that you keep talking about. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, but he's right. There's wonderful food. They will definitely feed you. They will definitely feed you. So praise the Lord. Um, at this time, I'm going to ask Pastor Larry if he would come and give us what thus saith the word of God. Sister Cassandra, you can come up as well. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. You guys may be seated just for a little bit. Um, it's always a joy for me. Es siempre una alegría para mí. When I walk into the sanctuary. Cuando entro al santuario. And I see my grandson sitting in the back. Y veo a mi nieto sentado atrás. In his high chair. En su silla alta. I think he has the tendency to have his breakfast here on Sundays. Which is a good thing because it's a reminder for me. Because there was a time where he couldn't sit in that high chair. And all he sucked on was a bottle. Y solo lo que tomaba era una mamadera. But now he's reached uh, an age in his life or pero, a stage in his life pero ahora él una edad o una paso en su edad que, where now he sits and he feeds himself. Ahora él se puede y él se da a sí mismo. And it's a reminder to me about my walk with the Lord. Y es un para mí de mi con el Señor. That there was a time where I needed to be fed like a baby where I had to have the bottle in my mouth but I had to get to a stage in my life where I can sit and feed myself can you say amen? amen because what happens in our Christian walk porque lo que pasa en nuestro camino en el cristianismo is we only sometimes we we have the tendency to only eat a meal on Wednesdays and Sundays. Porque solamente comemos una sola vez los miércoles o los domingos. And God doesn't just want us to survive. Y Dios no quiere que solamente sobrevivamos. He wants us to thrive. Él quiere que sigamos y nos alimentemos. Can you say amen? Amen. And so if the only time you're getting fed is here on Sunday, y si solamente tú vienes a comer únicamente los domingos Then spiritually you're seriously malnutritioned. entonces espiritualmente estás muy desnutrido Because we come on Wednesdays and Sundays porque cuando nosotros venimos los miércoles y los domingos and I think that everybody that has stood behind this pulpit can attest to this y cada persona que puede testificar que ha estado atrás de este púlpito whether you're a teacher or a preacher si eres un predicador o un maestro God has given us the responsibility to preach the word Dios nos ha dado la responsabilidad de predicar la palabra de Dios and not hold back y no quedarnos atrás Because we come on Wednesdays and Sundays Porque nosotros venimos los miércoles y los domingos for these reasons. Por estas razones. We come so that we can be convinced. Venimos a ser convencidos. Let me read this. The Apostle Paul told Timothy this. El Apostle Pablo le dijo a Timoteo esto. He says, I charge you therefore before God Te encargo ante Dios to preach the word. A dar la palabra del Señor. To be ready in season and out of season. Estar listo dentro de la temporada y fuera de la temporada. He says, I want you to convince. Quiero que convenzas. I want you to rebuke. Quiero que revoques. I want you to exhort. Quiero que exhortes. With all patience. Con toda paciencia. And teaching. Y enseñanza. Because the time will come. Porque el tiempo va a venir. When people will not endure sound doctrine, Cuando la gente no va a endurecer en la sana doctrina, but will follow after their own desires, pero va a seguir su propio deseo, having itchy ears, teniendo oídos sordos, heaping up for themselves teachers, solamente eh, parándose para ellos mismos como and maestros, and they will fall away from the truth, y van a caer de la verdad. 
this morning I come to preach the word of God. Esta mañana yo vengo aquí a predicar la palabra del Señor. Ask your neighbor if they're ready. Pregúntale a tu vecino si está listo. Amén. In my prayer this morning, brother uh, Pastor Chris. En mi oración esta mañana, Pastor Chris. I asked God to give me the boldness. Le pedí a Dios que me diera la fuerza. And the courage. Y la valentía. Of the prophets of old. De los de los profetas antiguos. You see, they had a hard job. Ellos tenían un trabajo difícil. Because they preached a message of repentance. Porque ellos predicaban el mensaje de arrepentimiento. And that was the very first message that Christ preached when he came on the scene. Y ese fue el primer mensaje que Jesús dio cuando el recién llegó. Was repentance. Arrepentimiento. Today some of us are going to come to a place of repentance. Hoy el día de hoy algunos vamos a llegar al lugar de arrepentimiento. Otherwise you're not hearing God's word. De otra manera no estás escuchando la palabra de Dios. You're not listening to God's word. No estás escuchando al Señor. You're listening to your own. Estás escuchándote a ti mismo. Can you say amen? Amen. Amen. Let us all stand for the reading of God's word this morning. Vamos a ponernos de pie el día de hoy para la lectura de la palabra del Señor. Ooh, got a little chilly in here. It's working. Está un poquito helado, un poquito helado hoy. Para despertarnos. I ask you to keep my lovely wife in your prayers. Les pido que tengan a mi esposa y la mantengan en sus oraciones. She went out of town Friday and she'll be back this evening. Ella salió el viernes fuera de la ciudad y regresa esta tarde. Amen. So uh, just want to keep her in prayer as she travels. Amen. Queremos mantenerla en oración en su viaje. Second Kings chapter six. Segunda de Reyes capítulo seis. I believe I used this portion of scripture. Uh, at one point in time in my pastorship God wants us to dig a little deeper 2 Kings chapter 6 verses 1 through 7 you know I liked our uh, Wednesday night Bible studies uh, where pastor Chris you were taught in the book of Revelations me gustan mucho los estudios bíblicos de los miércoles donde el pastor Chris habla sobre el libro de Apocalipsis. And at the end of every lesson he finished off with this verse. Y al finalizar cada uno de sus estudios bíblicos él finalizaba con esto. Everyone este that has an ear to cada, hear. Cada quien que tenga un oído que escuche. Let him hear what the word of God is saying. Dejen que escuche lo que Dios tiene que decir. Uh, reading in 2 Kings chapter 6 verses 1 through 7. Lectura del Segunda de Reyes del 6, versículo 1 al 7. And the sons of the prophets said to Elisha, Los hijos de los profetas dijeron a Eliseo, See now the place where we dwell with you is too small for us. He aquí el lugar en el momento contigo nos estre es muy estrecho. So please let us go to the Jordan and let every man take a beam from there. Vamos ahora al Jordán y tomemos de ahí cada una viga. And let us make there a place where we may dwell. Y hagamos allí lugar en el que habitemos. And so he answered them and he said, go. Y él dijo, andad. Then once he was going to send them alone. Y dijo uno, ten, ten, y dijo uno, te mandaremos solo. He was going to send them alone. Te mandaremos solo. Then one said, "Please consent to go with your servants." Y dijo uno, "Te rogamos que vengas con tus siervos." And he answered, "I will go." Y él respondió, "Yo iré." So when he went, so he went with them, and they went, and when they came to the Jordan, they cut down trees. Se fue pues con ellos, y cuando llegaron al Jordán, cortaron la madera. But as one was cutting down a tree. Y aconteció que mientras uno derribaba un árbol, the iron axe he head fell off into the water. Se le cayó el hacha en el agua. And he cried out and said, "Alas, master, for it was borrowed." Y gritó diciendo, "Ay, Dios mío, era prestada." So the man of God said, "Where did it fall?" El varón de Dios dijo, "¿Dónde cayó?" So the man of God said, "Where did it fall? Y él mostró el lugar en donde cayó. And he showed him the place. 
y le enseñó el lugar. So the man of God cut off a stick and threw it in there where it fell. Entonces cortó un palo y lo echó ahí e hizo flotar el hierro. And the Bible says that he. Y la Biblia dice que él. Not God. No Dios. Él. He made the iron float. Oh. El hizo y echó ahí e hizo flotar el hierro. You see, we know that it wasn't God because it's not a capital H. Y sabemos que no era Dios porque no fue una letra mayúscula. So the prophet, the man of God, made the iron float. Entonces el profeta, el hombre de Dios, hizo que el hierro flotara. And therefore he said, pick it up for yourself. Y dijo, tómalo. Pick it up for yourself. Y dijo, tómalo por ti mismo. So he reached out his hand and he took it. Y él extendió la mano y lo tomó. I didn't give this scripture to you this morning, sister, and I'm sorry. But if you would turn with me really quick to the book of Matthew, chapter 18 and verse 11. Vamos a pasar al capítulo de Mateos, versículo... Eleven. Eighteen, eleven. Mateo, Mateo, dieciocho, versículo once. These are the words of Jesus. Estas son las del Señor. He says, "For the Son of Man has not has come. For the Son of Man has come to save that which was lost." Porque el Hijo de Dios viene a salvar a salvar aquel que estaba perdido. Today I want to teach or preach on this topic. Hoy quiero predicar y enseñar sobre este tema of getting back what was lost. En tomar de regreso lo que estaba perdido. Getting back what was lost. Tomar de regreso lo que estaba perdido. Jesus, we thank you. Señor, te damos gracias. We honor you in this house. Te honramos en esta casa. We ask that you open up every heart. Te pedimos que abras cada corazón. That you open up every ear. Que abras cada oído. And that you remove every hindrance and stumbling block. Y que remuevas cada puerta de bloqueo. And every preconceived idea. Y cualquier idea que estaba ya hecha. So that your word can be deposited into our heart. Para que tu palabra pueda ser depositada en nuestros corazones. So that it could bear good fruit. Para que pueda ser sembrada en buena tierra. So you You can be honored Para que tú puedas ser honrado. and you can be glorified y tú seas glorificado. in Jesus name en el nombre precioso de Cristo amen Jesus. let's give God a round of applause amen. as we take our seats this morning Les damos un aplauso al Señor en lo que tomamos asiento. amen brother you can hit that thermostat up please if I'm cold in here with a jacket on I'm sure some of y'all are cold <laughs> amen Turn to your neighbor and tell him, I'm getting back what was lost. Dile a tu vecino, yo voy a tomar lo que estaba perdido. I'm going to get back what was lost. Yo voy a tomar lo que estaba perdido. And so in this portion of scripture, we read about a school of prophets. En esta porción de escritura, leemos sobre unos profetas. And the Bible says that this school had grown to the point that they needed more room. Y la Biblia dice que esta, esta escuela estaba creciendo a un lugar donde ellos necesitaban más espacio. They needed more space in where they could operate and do, uh, learn about the things of God. Tenían, necesitaban más lugar para poder ellos aprender sobre las cosas de Dios. And so the prophets came to the man of God and says, hey, uh, we don't fit in this place anymore. Entonces llegaron los profetas con Dios y le dicen, no cabemos ya en este lugar. We, we need to expand our territory. Necesitamos expandir nuestro we, territorio. We need to enlarge our territory so we can reach more people. Necesitamos engrandecer nuestro territorio para poder alcanzar más gente. And so they went to the man of God and they asked permission to permission to, to begin to build. Y fueron a, lo, a, a los hombres de Dios y le pidieron permiso para empezar a construir. And the man of God lets them know, hey, if, if it is your desire to help build, y los hombres de Dios le, le responden, si es tu deseo verdaderamente empezar a ayudar a construir, then I'm not going to stand in your way. Yo no me voy a oponer en tu lugar. Go to the Jordan and chop down the trees. Vayan al Jordán y corten esa madera. You see, that lets me know that these men were at a place already 
Eso me decía que estos hombres ya estaban fuera de lugar en ese Where they could be entrusted to go on their own. Donde podían ser confiados para ir por su cuenta. Where they didn't need the man of God to hold their hand anymore. Porque ya ellos ya no necesitaban que los hombres de Dios resostuvieran la mano. Where they didn't need the man of God to hold the bottle in their mouth anymore. Porque ya no necesitaban que les sostuvieran la la mamadera en la boca. They had reached a place, Pastor Chris, where they could go and do those things on their own. Habían llegado a este lugar donde Pastor Chris ellos ya podían hacer las cosas por sí solos. That they had already been taught by God to build the kingdom of God here on earth. Porque ya habían sido enseñados por Dios cómo es construir su reino aquí en la tierra. Not to be told to go win the lost. No que fueran a perderse. Not to be asked to be a witness. No para ser testigos solamente. Not to be paid to go and give a home Bible study. No ser pagados para ir a dar un, un curso de bíblico en casa. But to go. Pero sí a ir. But he chose to go with them. Pero él eligió ir con ellos. Because they asked him to go with him. Porque ellos le pidieron que fuera con ellos. They didn't. Uh, uh, they didn't expect him to be a mind reader. Ellos no esperaban que fuera un lector de mentes. They didn't expect him to just tag along. No pensaban que solamente él fuera a seguirlos. They went and asked the man of God if he would accompany them. Ellos fueron y le pidieron a los hombres de Dios que si los acompañaban. Hey Elisha, will you come with me to go and do this? Oye Eliseo, puedes venir conmigo a hacer esto? And so the man of God agreed and said, "Sure, I'll go with you because you're asking." Y entonces el hombre de Dios le dijo, "Claro que sí, voy a ir contigo porque me lo estás pidiendo." And so as they get to this location where they're begin to begin to work, entonces llegan a este lugar en donde empiezan ellos a trabajar. Myself working in the in the construction industry at one time. Yo trabajando en el rambo de la construcción. That's actually where I met Brother Harold. Es en donde yo conocí al hermano Harold. At the old location where I used to be a manager. En el lugar donde yo antes era un manejador. And so I know a little bit about uh, the construction work. Entonces yo sé un poquito sobre el trabajo de construcción. And and the setup of it when you get there. Y cómo te tienes que preparar para cuando llegas. And ahí. so I can imagine these prophets there beginning Beginning to set up their tools. Entonces me imagino estos profetas tratando de poner sus herramientas. Beginning to pull out their axes. Empezando a sacar sus hachas. Checking to make sure that everything is safe. Asegurándose de que todo fuera este seguro. Checking to see that everything is fastened and operating correctly. Checando que todo estuviera operando correctamente. Maybe giving it a last minute sharpen. Can you say amen? Quizás afilándolo de último momento un poco. So that you could get a good cut. Para que tú puedas agarrar un buen corte. So that you can do a efficient job at what you're at what you're doing Para que tú puedas hacer un trabajo eficiente en lo que estás haciendo Because it's always better to work smarter and not harder Porque siempre es mejor trabajar inteligentemente que más duro arduamente Can you say amen Amen How many of you have ever shown up to the job site without your tools ¿Cuántos de ustedes se han aparecido al trabajo sin sus herramientas? How many of you have ever gone to cut some grass without a lawn mower? ¿Cuántos han ido a cortar zacate sin una el, eh, cortadora eléctrica? Or you've gone to change a tire without a jack. ¿O has ido a cambiar una llanta sin un jack? We always want to be prepared for the job at hand. Siempre tenemos que estar preparados antes de tiempo para el trabajo. And so I know that these men got to that location and double checked their tools. Entonces yo sé que estos hombres llegaron a su locación y checaron algunas veces sus herramientas. And when everything checked out fine, the Bible says that they began to work. Entonces cuando todo estaba correcto, la Biblia dice que empezaron a trabajar. And the Bible says that they were busy working y la Biblia dice que estaban cansados y, y trabajando duro. these prophets were shoulder to shoulder cutting down trees estos profetas estaban lado a lado cortando esa madera they were there cutting to build a bigger and a better place ellos estaban cortando para construir un lugar más grande y mejor they were just building 
for themselves. No solamente estaban construyendo para ellos. They were just putting in the work for themselves. Ellos estaban solamente poniendo el trabajo por ellos mismos. But they were busy putting in work for those that were going to come after them as well. Pero estaban ocupados trabajando para aquellos que iban a venir después de ellos. Because they knew that their main job was to build the kingdom of God here on earth. Porque ellos sabían y estaban seguros que ellos que tenían que construir el reino de Dios aquí. But as they were working shoulder to shoulder. Pero como trabajaban arduamente, brazo a brazo. The Bible says that one one of the prophets loses his axe head in the Jordan River. Entonces dicen los profetas que pierde uno de ellos su hacha en el río de Jordán. And the Bible says that he becomes distraught. Entonces dice la Biblia que él se, se empieza a molestar. He becomes agitated. Se empieza a enfadar. The Bible lets us to know that he's conflicted on the inside. La Biblia nos muestra que él tiene conflictos adentro. Because the tool that he was using did not belong to him. Porque la herramienta que él estaba usando no era de él. The axe head, the power that he possessed, uh, did not belong to him. La hacha, ese poder que él tenía, no era de él. The Bible says that it was borrowed, it was loaned to him. La Biblia dice que era era prestada, se la prestaron. So it wasn't something that he already possessed. No era algo que él ya poseyera. And so the Bible says that he cries out to the man of God. Entonces dice la Biblia que él les llora a los hombres de Dios. He cries out to Elijah. Le dice Eliseo, le llora. He cries out to the man that God has placed over him. Él llora al hombre de Dios que a Dios ha puesto sobre él. And the Bible says that Elijah begins to intercede on his behalf. Entonces dice la Biblia que Eliseo empieza a interceder por él. And that he performs a great miracle. Entonces él es el que hace el gran milagro. And that he causes the axe head to float to the top. Y él hace que esa hacha suba, el hierro suba. That he is the cause that this man is made whole again. Él es la causa de que este hombre vuelva a creer otra vez. But in all of that is taking place right here, Pero en todo lo que se está llevando a cabo aquí, I want to, to let you know that this man was engaged in a good work. Quiero que le sepan ahí que este hombre estaba entregado al buen trabajo. Yes, he was building for himself. Sí, él estaba construyendo por sí mismo. But he was also building for the generations to come. Pero él estaba también construyendo para las generaciones. Por And ver. so his work was not in vain. Entonces su trabajo no era en vano. He was doing what God had called him to do. Él estaba haciendo lo que Dios lo mandó a hacer. But although he was doing a great work. Pero de todas maneras, aunque él estuviera haciendo un buen trabajo, although he was obedient to what God had laid upon his heart, aunque fuera él obediente a lo que Dios puso en su corazón, this man was guilty of one thing. Este hombre era culpable de una cosa. That although he was working, que aunque él estaba trabajando, and although he was busy, aunque estuviera ocupado, he was not watching. No estaba observando. Can you say amen? Amen. He was not watching. Él no estaba observando. And because he was not watching, y porque él no estaba observando, he lost what was entrusted to him. Él perdió lo que se le había otorgado a él. He lost the power that was given to him. Él perdió el poder que había sido dado a él. Because he took his eyes off of the mark. Porque quitó sus ojos de la marca. Now the Bible doesn't say how that happened. La Biblia no dice cómo esto sucedió. And so I can only assume what happened. Entonces yo solamente puedo asumir y pensar As if I was there swinging that axe. Como si estuviera ahí yo cortando. You see because I worked around a lot of people in my 
my time. Porque yo he trabajado con mucha gente en lugar de mi vida. And I've been surrounded by lots of people. Y Can está, you say amen? Y he estado rodeado de muchísima gente, amen. And the Bible does let me know that evil communication does corrupt good manner. Y entonces dice que también sé que pueden corromper lo malo a lo bueno. And so we don't know what he was listening to while he was working. Entonces nosotros no sabemos qué estaba escuchando él mientras estaba trabajando. We don't know who he was listening to no sabemos, while he was working. No sabemos a quién le estaba escuchando cuando él estaba trabajando. That caused him to be distracted. Que lo causó que él estuviera distraído. That caused him not to be watchful in his work anymore. Que ya no estuviera observando su trabajo. That persuaded him and convinced him to stop being diligent in his work. Que lo quitó de ser diligente en su trabajo. Because I can tell you right now. Porque lo que te puedo decir hoy. That if you sit in a barber shop long enough. Que si te sientas en una barbería lo suficiente. You're gonna get a haircut. Te van a dar un corte de cabello. Can you say amen? Amen. If you go to the store to buy milk, if you go to a liquor store to buy milk, and you are a once alcoholic. Si vas a la tienda y compras leche y una vez tú eras alcohólico, you're eventually gonna walk out with a bottle. Eventualmente vas a salir de ahí con una botella. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 And so, so he had lost what was given to him. Entonces él perdió lo que había sido otorgado a él. Now you see this. This axe head that was given to him was it, it represented the power to get the job done. Esta hacha que él había andado, este hierro era la representación del poder que él había recibido. This axe head uh, was needed to chop down the trees. Esta hacha se necesitaba para poder cortar los árboles. This axe was needed to work alongside the others. Era necesario que esta hacha trabajara al ritmo de los demás. And so this power that he possessed Entonces, este poder que él poseía, represented forward progress eh, representaba el poder futuro, and it represented forward growth y representaba el crecimiento futuro. but not just for him pero no solamente para él, but also for his family pero también para su familia, also for his friends para sus amigos, also for those that are called by the Lord para aquellos también que son llamados por el Señor. and so what God is saying to the church today Entonces, lo que Dios le dice a la is unless you're operating in the power and the glory of the Holy Ghost que si estás trabajando en el poder del Espíritu Santo I said unless you're operating in the power that was gifted to you solamente si estás trabajando en el poder que era regalado hacia ti unless tí, you're operating in the power that was given to you solo si estás trabajando en el poder que Él te ha dado unless you're operating in the power that you didn't possess before solo que estés trabajando en el poder que tú antes no poseías unless you're walking and talking and living in the power of the Holy Holy Ghost. Solo que estés viviendo y caminando en el poder del Espíritu you Santo. You will never get to where God wants you to get to. Nunca llegarás al lugar donde Dios quiere que you llegues. You will never accomplish what God has called you to do. Nunca lograrás lo que Dios te trajo a hacer. Because He says, I want you to walk in the Spirit. Porque él dice, yo quiero que camines en el Espíritu Santo. And not in the flesh. Y no en tu pecado. We cannot please God without the Holy Ghost. No podemos agradar a Dios sin el Espíritu Santo. We cannot follow through without the Holy Ghost. No podemos seguir sin el Espíritu Santo. You know, somebody said to me one day, Pastor, we don't need the Holy Ghost. Una vez alguien me dijo, Pastor, no necesitamos al Espíritu Santo. I don't need to speak with other tongues. Yo no necesito hablar en lenguas. And you know what I said? ¿Y saben lo que les dije? I said, what's changed, brother? ¿Qué, ¿Qué cambió, hermano? ¿Qué pasó? Because you used to believe that before. Porque tú antes creías en eso. God revealed it to you before. Dios te lo reveló anteriormente. Did God come to you and tell you something he hasn't told me? Vino Dios a decirte algo que no me ha dicho a mí aún. Has he taken those scriptures from the Bible? Él quitó esas escrituras de la Biblia? Is there another Bible that was rewritten? Hay otra Biblia que fue reescrita? Sister Julie, do you have that Bible? Sister Julie, ¿tienes esa Biblia? If it says it, si lo dice, you know, I was in, in the book of Romans, chapter 8. 
estaba en el libro de Romanos capítulo 8 22, 23, del 22, 23 the Bible says, hey, you, you ought to pray in the Spirit la Biblia dice oye necesitas orar en el Espíritu because not even you know what you're supposed to pray for porque ni tú sabes que por lo cual tienes que orar that means I gotta speak in tongues entonces significa que yo tengo que hablar en lenguas amen oh help us Jesus amen. the Bible says to let Every man, uh, let the word of God be true. La Biblia dice que toda la, la palabra del hombre debe de ser cierta. And every man a liar. Y cada hombre un mentiroso. That's what my Bible says. Es lo que dice mi Biblia. But unless you're operating in the Holy Ghost. Pero solamente si estás operando en el Espíritu Santo. You have no authority. No tienes autoridad. Unless you're operating in the Holy Ghost. Solamente que estés operando en el Espíritu Santo. You have no discernment. No tienes discernimiento. Unless you're operating in the Holy Ghost. Solamente si estás trabajando con el Espíritu Santo. You can't be bold. No puedes ser fuerte. You can't find peace. No puedes encontrar paz. You can't find joy. No puedes encontrar alegría. You cannot overcome. No puedes sobresalir. And you cannot fight off the enemy. Y no puedes pelear al enemigo. Because it's not by your power. Porque no es por tu poder. Nor by your might. Ni por tu mente. But by my spirit says the Lord. Pero por mi espíritu santo dice el Señor. Can you say amen? Amen. The purpose of the Holy Ghost is to give you power. El propósito del Espíritu Santo es darte poder. So when we relinquish the Holy Ghost in our life, entonces cuando nosotros desatamos al Espíritu Santo en nuestra vida, we relinquish the power. Entonces resatamos el poder de Dios. And so I want you to listen to me today, church. Entonces quiero que me escuches, iglesia. Is that he lost his ability? To progress. Si él perdió su habilidad de progreso. He lost the one thing that kept him in the game. Él perdió lo único que lo dejaba que estuviera en su juego. He lost it. Lo perdió. But can I tell you this? Pero te puedo decir algo. That through all of his distraughtness. En todo su encuentro no encuentro. Through everything that was going on. Todo lo que estaba pasando a su alrededor. He was able to get it back. Él fue capaz de obtenerlo de nuevo. He was able to get back in the game. Él pudo regresar al juego. He was able to do right by God. Él pudo hacer el bien por Dios. You see, you know when we stop doing right by God? ¿Sabes lo que pasa cuando paramos de hacer las cosas correctas en el Señor? Is we become men pleasers instead of God pleasers. Nos convertimos en personas que halagamos a los hombres y no a Dios. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 Let's give God a round of applause. Le damos un aplauso al Señor. But in order for him to get back to that place, pero en lugar de él para él poder regresar a ese lugar para él poder llegar, he had to do some things. Tenía que hacer algunas cosas. He had to do some things. Él tenía que hacer cosas. Tell your neighbor, there's some things I gotta do. Dile a tu vecino, hay cosas que yo necesito hacer. To get back to that place of greatness. Para regresar a ese lugar. We, de how many of you want to be great? ¿Cuántos de ustedes quieren ser grandes? I, I want to be great, amen. Yo quiero ser maravilloso. Not just in the eyes of man, but most importantly in the eyes of God. Yo no quiero solamente ser bueno en los ojos de los humanos, pero en los ojos de Dios. I want to please Dios. God. Yo quiero complacer a I Dios. I want to do what God called me Yo to do. Yo quiero hacer lo que Dios me llamó a hacer. And I want to surround myself by people that are going to encourage me to do what God wants me to do. Y quiero rodearme de gente que quiere que me lleve yo y vaya al lugar donde Dios tiene las cosas para hacer para mí. He was in Involved in a work. Él estaba envuelto en el trabajo. He started off strong. Él empezó fuerte. He was there serving alongside other prophets. Él estaba ahí enseguida sirviendo, enseguida de los profetas. Doing what God called him to do. Haciendo lo que Dios lo llamó a hacer. But then he lost his way. Pero después él perdió su but vida. But thank God the story doesn't stop there. Pero gracias a Dios la, la historia no termina ahí. That he was able to get back to work. Él también pudo regresar al trabajo. He was able to get back to building the kingdom of God here on él, earth. Él pudo regresar a construir el reino de Dios aquí Not en el mundo. Not just for him but his family. Pero no solamente para él, para su familia. For his community. Para su comunidad. For those that are lost. Para aquellos que están perdidos. And they need what you have. Y que necesitan lo que tú tienes. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 But he had to take some steps. Pero él tuvo que tomar algunos pasos. 
towards his restoration. Hacia su restauración. Amen. 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 The first step that this man had to take was this. El primer paso que este hombre tuvo que tomar fue este. Was he had to show concern. Él tenía que importarle for where he was at. En donde él estaba. You know why people stay in their rut? ¿Saben por qué la gente se queda en deshonra? You know why people stay in the position that they're at? ¿Por qué se quedan las personas en el lugar, en la posición donde It's están? It's because they're not concerned about it anymore. Porque ya no les importa más. They've learned to live their life around the drama. Ellos aprendieron a, sor, a, a vivir su vida rodeados de drama. They've learned to live their life around the situation. Aprendieron a vivir sus vidas alrededor de esta situación. Instead of dealing with the situation. En vez de enfrentar la situación. Can you say amen? Amen. He had to be concerned. You got, you got, if you lost it, you got to be concerned that you lost it. Tienes que estar preocupado. Si lo perdiste, tienes que estar preocupado. Te tiene que if importar. If you lost the desire to pray, you got to be concerned. Si perdiste el deseo de orar, tiene que importarte. If you lost the desire to read your word, there's got to be a concern. Si perdiste el deseo por hacer tu palabra, if tienes you've que lost estar preocupado. The desire to be faithful, you got to be concerned. Si perdiste el deseo de ser fiel, tienes que estar preocupado. That was the first thing he did was show concern. Es lo primero que él hizo, enseñar que le importaba. Because the Bible says that as soon as he feels the axe head fly off, Porque dice la Biblia que solamente cuando él sintió que eso se había ido, he cries out. Él empieza a llorar. He cries out. Él les grita a los hombres y les llora a los hombres de Dios. He doesn't hide it. Él no lo esconde. He doesn't keep it to himself. No lo guarda para él mismo. He doesn't try to sweep it under the rug. Tampoco lo guarda bajo de la cama. He's not trying to distract or él no, deflect. Él no trata de distraerlo. He cries out. Él lo grita. Hey, I lost my power. Oye, perdí mi poder. I lost my desire. Perdí mi deseo. And I'm concerned. Y estoy preocupado y me importa. And you know why he cries? Out. ¿Y saben por qué grita? It's because he knows that he can't continue in the work. Porque él sabe que no puede continuar en el trabajo. Until he recovers this axe head. Hasta que recupera ese hierro. Amen. Amen. You know how we know that? ¿Saben cómo sabemos esto? Because Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 6 says this. Porque Zacarías capítulo 4 versículo 6 dice esto. It says that the word of God came to Zerubbabel. Entonces respondió y me habló diciendo. Telling him it's not by might. Esta es la palabra de Jehová en Zorabel. It's not dice, by power. No es ejército ni con fuerza. But by my spirit saith the Lord. Sino con mi espíritu ha dicho Jehová de los ejércitos. And in the book of Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Y en el capítulo de hecho de hechos el capítulo 1 versículo Brother 8. Brother Danny the Bible says that we will receive power. Pero recibiráis poder. After the Holy Ghost has come upon us. Cuando haya venido sobre vosotros el Espíritu Santo. You and I don't have power until we have the Holy Ghost. Tú y yo sabemos que tenemos poder hasta que tenemos el Espíritu Santo. Breathing inside of us. Respirando adentro Living de nosotros. Living inside of us. Y viviendo dentro de nosotros. Walking with us and talking with us. Hablando con nosotros y caminando con Thinking nosotros. Thinking with us and responding with us. Hablando con nosotros y respondiéndonos. And he knew this. Y él lo sabía. That's why he cried out. Por eso él lo pidió. And so I believe that there are many believers. Entonces yo creo que hay muchos creyentes. Walking through life. Caminando por la vida. Operating without the Spirit of God. Operando y caminando por la vida sin el Espíritu Santo. Listen to this, church. Escuchen esto. Just because you're smart doesn't mean you're operating in the Holy Ghost. Solo porque seas inteligente no significa que estás en el Espíritu Santo. Just because you got great ideas doesn't mean you're operating.
operating in the Holy Ghost. Solo porque tienes buenas ideas no significa que estás operando en el Espíritu Santo. Just because you make a lot of money doesn't mean you're operating in the Holy Ghost. No solo porque hagas mucho dinero significa que estás en el Espíritu Santo. Just because you feed the homeless doesn't mean you're walking in the Holy Ghost. No porque le des de comer a los que no tienen estás caminando en el Espíritu Santo. It just means you're doing good deeds. Solamente dice que estás haciendo cosas buenas. You know the Bible lets us to know what happens when we're walking in the Holy Ghost. La Biblia nos dice cuando nosotros estamos caminando en el Espíritu Santo. And it doesn't Santo. mention feeding the homeless. Y no menciona que tenemos que darle de comer a los hambrientos. It doesn't mention being smart. Que seas inteligente tampoco. It doesn't mean making a lot of doesn't say making a lot of money. No significa tampoco hacer mucho dinero. You know what it says? Let's find out what it says. Let's go to the book of Galatians. ¿Sabes lo que dice? Vamos a averiguar qué es lo que dice en Gálatas 5. Okay. Let's see what the what the what the Bible says about how we're supposed to act or what how we're supposed to be when we have the Holy Ghost. Vamos a ver en en la Biblia qué es lo que necesitamos hacer y cómo debemos de actuar cuando tenemos el Espíritu Santo. Listen, in in chapter 5 Escuchen en capítulo 5 Starting in verse 22 Empezando versículo 22 al 26 Because it doesn't matter how smart you are Porque no importa lo inteligente que seas Doesn't matter how big your bank account is No importa que tan grande es en cuántos ceros esté tu cuenta de banco It doesn't matter how big your house is No importa que tan grande sea tu casa And it doesn't matter how many friends you have on Facebook Y no importa cuántos amigos tengas en Facebook Can you say amen? Amen You know people think that we're friends on Facebook and that means we're friends Muchas veces la gente piensa que somos amigos en Facebook y que somos amigos. Por eso. No. 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 Even Julie will tell you that. Hasta Julie sabe eso. Amen. Galatians. Galatas. Chapter 5. 5. Look at. Escuchen. According to these scriptures. Mas el fruto del espíritu. The fruit, listen. The fruit or the behaviors o los comportamientos of the spirit del espíritu santo is love es amor is joy gozo is peace paz is long suffering paciencia it's kindness benignidad it's goodness bondad it's faithfulness fe it's gentleness macedumbre listen to this one it's self control escuchen a este templanza Against such there is no law. Contra tales cosa no hay ley. In other words, there's no limit what with these things. En otras palabras, no hay límite con estas cosas. And listen, and those who are Christ, pero los que son en Cristo, have crucified the flesh with its passions and its desires. Han crucificado la carne con sus pasiones y sus deseos. If we live in the Spirit. Si vivimos por el Espíritu, let us also walk in the Spirit. Andemos también por el Espíritu. Let us not be conceited. No nos hagamos vanagloriosos. Provoking one another. Irritándonos unos a otros. Jealous and envying one another. Envidiándonos unos a los otros. That's what what having the Holy Ghost looks like. Eso es lo que significa tener el Espíritu Santo. Those are the fruits of living in the Spirit. Esos son los frutos de vivir en el Espíritu. And so we find that this man cries out. Entonces encontramos que este hombre pide auxilio. Because he lost the Spirit that was in him to continue in the work of the Lord. Porque él perdió el Espíritu para continuar en el trabajo del Señor. And you're saying, Pastor, that is a huge assumption. Pastor, dices, eso es una gran acertación. Well, let's go back to that scripture. Bueno, let's go back to 2 Kings chapter 6 and verse 5. Regresamos entonces a Reyes, Segunda de Reyes, capítulo 6. No, 6, versículo 5. He showed concern. A él le importaba. You know, there are some people that just don't care. Hay algunas personas que no les importa. And that's a dangerous place to be. Y ese es un lugar peligroso en donde estar. Because wherever you go, porque a cada lugar donde vayas, you take that with you. Tú tomas eso contigo. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 Second Kings chapter 6 and verse 5. Segunda de Reyes capítulo 6 versículo 5 dice así. As he was cutting down the tree his axe had fell off. 
Y aconteció que mientras uno derribaba un árbol, se le cayó el hacha en And el he cried out. Y él gritó diciendo, Master, ah, oh, Señor mío, Man of God, hombre de Dios, help me, ayúdame. You know that when God called out Lazarus? Cuando Dios le habló. How did he come out, brother Ernest? ¿Cómo salió, hermano Ernesto? He came out wrapped in his grave clothes. Él salió rodeado en su en su en su bata. You know they mummified you back then. Antes te momificaban. So he didn't come out walking. Él no salió caminando. He came out hopping. Él salió brincando. Now was God the one that went and took his grave clothes off of him? Fue Dios el que le quitó la ropa de sepulcro? Did God go and start taking the wrap off of Lazarus? Fue Dios y le quitó las vendas a Lázaro? No. No. It was those that were there. Fueron aquellos que estaban ahí. Said, "Hey, come over here and help Lazarus." Les dijeron, "Vengan, vengan a ayudar a help Lázaro." Lose him. Ayuden a soltarlo. Can I tell you today that we need each other in this place? Te puedo decir hoy que nosotros necesitamos unos a los otros en este lugar. Can I tell you that I need you as much as you need me? Que yo te necesito a ti tanto como tú me necesitas a mí. But we won't know unless we open our mouth. Can you say that? Pero no podemos saber en menos que nosotros abramos nuestra boca. Man of God, help me! Hombre de Dios, ayúdame! I've lost my power. Perdí mi poder. I've lost my way. Perdí mi lugar. He was concerned. Estaba preocupado. Let's give God a round of applause. Le damos un aplauso fuerte al Señor. So the first thing he did in his situation La primera cosa que él hizo en su situación was run to the man of God. Corrió hacia el hombre de Dios. Not away from the man of God. No lejos del hombre de Dios. And he said, "Help me." Y le dijo, Ayúdame. He was concerned. Él estaba preocupado. And when he got the man of God's attention, y cuando él tuvo la atención del hombre de Dios, he did the second thing. Él hizo esto segundo. He confessed. Él confesó. Él se confesó. You know what confession is? ¿Saben lo que es confesar? It's telling the truth. Es decir la verdad. It's being honest. Es ser honesto. It's being transparent. Es ser transparente. It's not deflecting. No es deshonrante. It's confessing. Es confesarte. Uh, telling the truth about what's going on in your life. Decir la verdad de lo que está pasando en tu vida. You know it doesn't matter who you sit with. No importa por con quién pecas. Whether it's a pastor. Si es un pastor. Whether it's a priest. Si es un párroco. Whether it's a counselor. Si es un 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 cons Unless you tell the truth, it doesn't work. Al menos que tú digas la verdad no funciona. You gotta be truthful. Tienes que ser honesto. About what's going on in your life. Y decir la verdad de lo que pasa en tu vida. About what's happening in your life. De lo que está pasando en tu vida. Otherwise, you can't get help wherever you go. De otra manera no puedes tener la la ayuda cuando vayas. He confessed. Él confesó. He said the truth. Can you say amen? Él dijo la verdad. And he did it immediately. Y lo hizo inmediatamente. Immediately he ran to Elijah. Inmediatamente él corrió a Eliseo. Admitting that he lost his power. Y le dijo que había perdido su poder. You know what the hardest thing for a man to do? ¿Saben qué es lo más duro para un hombre hacer? Is to admit that they've lost their way. Para admitir que ellos perdieron su camino. Is to admit that they've lost their ability. Admitir que perdieron su habilidad. Is to admit that they've lost their power. Admitir que no tienen ese poder. But you know what blows my mind in this story? Pero saben qué 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 me vuela la cabeza en esta historia? It's the fact that he knew. Es el hecho de que él sabía. That his axe was getting ready to fly off. Que su hacha estaba a punto de salir. He knew it. Él lo sabía. He saw. He felt it, and he never did nothing about it. Oh, come on, somebody! Vamos, alguien. How many of you have ever operated a hammer? 
¿Cuántos de ustedes han usado un martillo? I know there's some in here too. We've got the belt and some hammer and level and skill saw. She's off. Yo sé que las mujeres ponen también sus cosas, tienen sus herramientas y you, how many of you remember those uh, those older wooden types of hammers, right? Where you gotta, you know, they're on the top, they get they get loose, and then you drill a, a screw into them, right, to expand the wood. ¿Cuántos de ustedes se acuerdan de esos um, martillos viejos que tenías que quitarles el fierro y volverlo a meter? Or they slide down and you turn it over and you tap it on the concrete so that it could lo uh, get tight for you lo again. Ten, lo tenías que golpear para que se pudiera poner otra vez la cabeza donde debería de ir. Who's not gonna know when their hammer's loose? ¿Quién no va a saber cuando su martillo Who's not going to know when their axe head or hammer is getting ready to fly off? Hey, we know when our tires are getting ready to blow up. How are we not going to know when our axe head is loose? He knew. But he never sought help. Pero nunca buscó ayuda. He never took the time to fix the problem. Nunca tomó tiempo para corregir el problema. He never said anything until his power was gone. Él no dijo nada hasta que ya había perdido su poder. He didn't bring it to the man of God's attention until his power was gone. Él no lo trajo a la atención de los hombres de Dios hasta que el poder lo había perdido. And that's a very dangerous place to be. Y ese es un lugar muy peligroso de estar. Because the Bible says this in the the book of James chapter 5 Porque en la Biblia dice así en el libro de Jeremías It says this in James chapter 5 En en James capítulo 3 En Santiago Santiago right uh, Disculpe uh, chapter 5 verses 13 through 16 the Bible says this La Biblia dice en Santiago capítulo 5 del 13 al 16 dice así Is anyone among you suffering Está alguno de vosotros afligidos Let him pray Hagan oración You know the first question I ask people when they come to me? La primera pregunta que yo le hago a la gente cuando vienen a mí. Have you prayed? ¿Has orado? Just because you got these ideas doesn't mean they're from God. Solo porque tengas esas ideas no significa que vengan de Dios. Amen. Amen. Let's keep reading this. Let's read it slow because it's good. Seguimos escucha eh, leyendo y escuchamos y lo vamos a leer lento. Porque Is bueno. anyone cheerful? Está alguno alegre? Let them sing songs. Cante alabanzas. Is anyone among you sick? Está alguno enfermo entre vosotros? Let him call for the elders. Llame a los ancianos de la iglesia. The elders don't know you're sick. Los ancianos no saben que estás enfermo. They don't know you're suffering. No saben que estás sufriendo. They don't know what's going on in your marriage. No saben qué está pasando en tu matrimonio. They don't know what's happening at your job. No saben qué pasa en tu trabajo. Whenever you're going through something, the Bible says to let him call the elders. Para lo que sea que estás pasando en tu vida, dice que le llamen a los ancianos de la iglesia. You know we're living in a time now, Sister Andrea. Estamos viviendo en un tiempo, hermana Andrea. Where people don't say nothing. Donde la gente no dice nada. And then all hell breaks loose in their house. Entonces todo se desata el infierno dentro de su And casa. And then they want to blame the church. Y quieren culpar a la iglesia. They want to blame the pastor. Quieren culpar al pastor. Because they were sick. Porque ellos estaban enfermos. And they were suffering. Y estaban sufriendo. And they never called the elders. Y nunca llamaron a los ancianos de la iglesia. It's biblical. Es bíblico. Let's give God a round of applause. Le damos un aplauso grande al Señor. He confessed. El confesó. He told the truth. El dijo la verdad. He didn't make excuses. El no puso pretextos. He didn't deflect. El tampoco se desahogó. He confessed where he was at. El confesó donde él estaba. Man of God, I lost my power. Hombre de Dios, perdí mi poder. You know that even I have a pastor. Saben que yo también tengo un pastor. And there's times when I'm weak. Y hay momentos donde yo también soy frágil. And I need a shoulder to cry on. Y necesito un hombro para llorar. Because I pastor y'all. Porque yo también tengo al pastor y'all. I call him. Yo le llamo. He doesn't know what I'm going through. Él no sabe lo que yo estoy pasando. 
He doesn't know what's happening with me. Él no sabe qué está pasando conmigo. I got a call. I don't know what's going on with you. No sé qué está pasando contigo. I didn't know your house situation until you told me. No sabía sobre la situación de tu casa hasta que me dijiste. Amen. Amen. And and he doesn't know anything about me. Y él no sabe nada sobre mí. Unless I tell him. Solo si le digo. But when we talk, we're truthful. Pero cuando hablamos somos honestos. About our struggle. De nuestro sacrificio, we're nuestra truthful batalla. about what we're going through. Le, le, somos verdaderos sobre lo que estamos pasando. Because that's the only way we can help each other. Porque es la única manera en la que podemos ayudarnos. Is by being truthful. Es al ser honesto. Can you say amen? Amen. He, he confessed. Él confesó. The third thing he did was this. La tercera cosa que hizo fue esto. He called the man of God. Él le habló a los hombres de Dios. Back to the place where he lost it. Al lugar los llevó al lugar donde él perdió. Let me re, let me let me repeat that. Déjame repito esto. He took the man of God. Él llevó a los hombres de Dios. Back to the place where he lost it. Al lugar donde él había perdido. It doesn't matter who you sit with. No importa que es que con quién hayas pecado. They're always going to say, "Let's start at the beginning." Vamos a empezar desde el principio. Because somewhere along the line, porque en algún momento en ese camino, we're going to find the problem. Vamos a encontrar el we're problema. We're going to get the root of the problem. Vamos a llegar a la raíz del problema. But you gotta take them back. Pero tienes que llevarlos atrás. I, I lost it here, pastor. Aquí lo perdí, pastor. I, I lost it there, pastor. Allá lo perdí, pastor. I I I I fell into sin, pastor. Caí en el pecado, pastor. I, I I got offended, Pastor. Estoy ofendido, Pastor. I saw this and I saw that, Pastor. Vi esto, Pastor, y vi lo otro, Pastor. You gotta go back to that place. Tienes que regresar a ese lugar. He took him back to the place where he lost it. Él lo llevó de regreso al lugar donde él perdió. And before you and I, y antes que tú y yo, can recover the power of God in our lives. Podemos recobrar el poder de Dios en nuestras vidas. We must uncover the real reason. Debemos de descubrir la verdadera razón. That the razón. power was forfeited. Donde se perdió ese poder. Was it sin? Fue pecado. Was it offense? Fue ofensa. Was it neglect? Fue negligencia. Was it being unequally yoked? Y ser no ser iguales en nuestro yugo. Was it being in a place? Fue a estar en un lugar that is unequally yoked. Que no es tal igual en el yugo. You know it's biblical. The Bible says that the Bible says that believers should not be around unbelievers. Es bíblico, la Biblia dice que no debemos de estar en rodearnos de personas que no son creyentes. Because sooner or later somebody's going to convince somebody. Porque de una manera u otra alguien va a convencer al otro. And somebody's always going to bow down. Y alguien se va a caer. And follow the other person's lead. Y va a seguir a la persona. That's not even in the Lord. Que no está en el Señor. Oh, come on now somebody. Vamos alguien. We need to be honest this morning, church. Tenemos que ser honestos esta mañana, iglesia. Because we could all pinpoint the area in our life. Porque todos podemos juzgar y acertar en la área en nuestra vida. That stands before the power of God. Que se para entre el poder de Dios. Operating in our lives. Que opera en nuestra vida. And so, he showed concern. Él mostró importancia. He confessed. Él confesó. And he allowed the man of God to come in. Y le permitió el hombre de Dios que viniera. And he took him to the place where en, it fell. Y entrara y lo llevó hacia el lugar donde se había ido. The fourth point is this. El cuarto punto es este. Is that we need to trust the process. Que necesitamos Amen. confiar en el proceso. And the person. Amen. Y la persona. Amen. Amen, Pastor Chris. Amen, Pastor Chris. Amen. Amen. We need to trust the process. Necesitamos confiar en el proceso. And we need to trust the person. Y necesitamos confiar en la persona. Because when he took the man of God back to that place. Porque cuando él llevó a los hombres de Dios al lugar ese. The man of God did something that made no sense whatsoever. El hombre de Dios hizo algo que no Tomaba nada, no, no, no significaba mucha lógica. He grabbed a twig off the tree, off the tree. Él agarró un palo de madera. And he threw it into the water where the axe had fell. Y lo tiró 
hacia el agua donde se había caído el hacha. And he said, I need you to raise to the top. Y le dijo, necesito que te levantes, eleves hacia la superficie. Can you imagine that, brother? ¿Se imaginan eso, hermanos? If you came, Michael, to my office and says, hey, this is what's going on. Si tú, Michael, venías a mi oficina y me decías, eso está well, pasando. Let's go, let's go get it back. Pues vamos, te voy a decir, vamos and a regresarlo. And I grab a stick and I throw it over there and you're like. Y yo agarro un palo y lo tiro y. Can I go pick it up? La puedo levantar. Ve y How many of you have ever seen iron float? ¿Cuántos de ustedes han visto que el hierro flote? How many of you have ever lost your Ray-Bans in the, in the lake? ¿Cuántos de ustedes han perdido you know, sus... Ray-Bans don't float. <laughs> sus bandas de hierro no, no flotan. But this iron head did. Pero esta, este hierro sí flotó. You know why? ¿Saben por qué? You, you know why? It wasn't that, that, that this man possessed the power to do that. No era porque este hombre tenía el poder para hacer eso. It was the faith in the man that was with him. Era la fe en el hombre que estaba con that él. That he put in the man of God. Que él puso en el hombre de that Dios. That caused that iron to float. Que causó que ese hierro flotara he en él. He said, you're the man God place in my life Tú eres el hombre de Dios que Dios puso en mi vida. And my faith and your faith is going to make that problem go away. Y mi fe y tu fe hará que este problema se vaya. Your faith and my faith is going to make that iron float. Tu fe y la mía van a hacer que ese hierro se suba. But you had to trust the process. Pero tienes que confiar en el proceso. And you had to trust the man of God. Y tienes que confiar en el hombre de Dios. Give God a round of applause. Le damos un aplauso fuerte al Señor. I'm going to come to a close now. Voy hacia el cierre. See if we can stand to our feet. Si nos podemos poner de pie, por favor. You know, this is a very oddly placed portion of Scripture. Esta es una parte muy incierta de la de la porción de la escritura. Chapters before that, the chapters before this. Capítulos antes que este. The Lord is dealing with the pride of man. Dios está lidiando con el orgullo de los hombres. Where a man by the name of Naaman does not want to do what God said. Cuando Neamar no quería hacer lo que Dios quería que hiciera. He refused to do what God said. Él se negaba a hacer lo que Dios quería que hiciera. He was a leper. Era un descendiente. He was dying. Él estaba muriendo en lepra. And he was so prideful that he would rather die than change. Y era tan orgulloso que prefería morir antes que cambiar. But thank God for the people that were around him. Pero gracias a Dios por las personas que estaban alrededor de él. That encouraged him to go back and to listen to the man of God. Le dieron fuerza para que él fuera de regreso y escuchara al hombre de Dios. Who's in your circle today? ¿Quién está en tu círculo? Who's in your ear? ¿Quién está en tu oído? Who's who's telling you to give up and to give in? ¿Quién te dice que sueltes te te sujetes y entres? Who's agreeing with you? ¿Quién está acertando contigo? ¿Quién to go está bien? against what God wants for you. Que hagas las cosas que están en contra de lo que Dios quiere que hagas. Who is it? ¿Quién es? Who's that strong voice in your ear? ¿Quién es esa esa voz fuerte en tu oído que te dice que está bien? You need to kick that voice out. Tienes que sacar a esa you need to cut a it esa off. voz. Tienes que cortarla de tu vida. He showed concern. Él mostró que le importaba. He was concerned because not only was he going to, uh, uh, he was concerned because of where he was at. Estaba preocupado por donde él estaba. And remember, he wasn't alone. Y recuerden, no estaba solo. He was part of something. Era parte de algo. And I'm sure that his concern translated over to that as well. Y estoy seguro que su dolor y eso se transformó hacia eso. He confessed. Él confesó. He told the truth. Él dijo la verdad. You know the Holy Ghost will will give you the boldness to to speak the truth. 
Saben que el Espíritu Santo te da la valentía de hablar la verdad. You know, I've been, I've been accused of, 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 of being offensive. Yo he sido acusado de ser ofensivo en momentos. I've been accused, Pastor Chris Hewer, of, of, of being too brash. He sido acusado de ser muy duro, Pastor Chris. Of having too strong of a character. De tener una personalidad muy fuerte. I would like to think that that's the Holy Ghost in me. Yo quiero pensar que es el Espíritu Santo en Because mí. I speak what God gives me. Porque yo hablo lo que Dios me dice. And if you, whether you like it or not, y si te gusta o no, you go and check the scriptures. Tú ve y checa las It'll escrituras. Line up. Y te va a alinear. He went back to where it was lost. Él regresó en donde lo había perdido. He trusted the person and the process. Él confió en la persona y en el proceso. And the last thing he did. Y lo último que él hizo. Was he stayed committed. Y él lo último que hizo fue comprometerse. You know how I know that, brother Anthony? Saben cómo sé eso, hermano Anthony? Because it says it in the scriptures. Porque lo dice en las escrituras. In Second Kings, en Segunda de Reyes, chapter six, capítulo seis, that same story, versículo siete, la misma historia, verse seven, versículo siete, the man of God said this, el hombre de Dios dijo esto, he said, pick it up, y dijo, tómalo, for yourself. Por ti mismo y él extendió la mano. He said, Moses, pick it up. Moisés dijo, levántalo. Not for your family. No para tu familia. Not for your children. No para tus hijos. Not for your neighbor. No para tu vecino. Pick it up for yourself. Levántalo para ti. He said, Pastor, aren't we supposed to win the loss? Yes, we are. Pastor dice, tenemos que ganar lo perdido. But my Bible also says to seek the Lord. Pero mi Biblia también dice, busca al Señor. Seek your own salvation. Busca tu propia salvación. With fear and trembling. Aunque estés temblando y en incertidumbre. You see, sister, I can't save my wife. Sabes, no puedo decirte que Dios. She's got to save herself. Ella tiene que salvarse a sí misma. I can just encourage her in the word of God Solo le puedo ayudar con la palabra de Dios. that when times get rough to keep on pressing que cuando las cosas se pongan duras, que sigas that when you feel like giving up come on I'll carry you to the altar that when my children don't want to serve God no more cuando mis hijos ya no quieren servirle a Dios a day of fasting, que vamos a poner un día de ayuno they have to find their own porque ellos tienen que encontrar su propia salvación He had to stay to his own. él tiene que estar comprometido para él mismo said, Pick it up for el hombre de Dios le dijo tómalo por ti mismo And you know what he did? y saben lo que hizo He made a choice. Él tomó una decisión. You know, life is all about choices. Saben que la vida es solamente de decisiones. Everybody that's here chose to be here this morning. Todos los que están aquí eligieron estar aquí el día de hoy. Those that are watching online chose to watch online. Todos los que escogieron estar en línea escogieron estar. This en man línea. chose to pick up the power again. Este hombre escogió y eligió recobrar el poder de Dios. And get back on the field. Y regresar al campo. With his team. Con su equipo. To build God's kingdom here on earth. Para construir el reino de Dios aquí. How many people want to reach out today for yourself? ¿Cuántos de ustedes quieren acercarse por ustedes mismos? And be part of something great. Y ser parte de algo grandioso. He had to choose, Tony. Él tuvo que escoger, Tony. You know, times are going to get rough. Saben, los tiempos se van a poner difíciles. Even for you. Incluso para ti. Even for me. Incluso para mí. But I gotta choose. Pero yo tengo que elegir. Am I going to fight? Voy a pelear. Am I gonna listen to voices that don't line up with the Word of God? Voy a escuchar las voces que no se alinean con Dios. Or am I gonna pick up what God has given me? O voy a tomar lo que Dios me dio. And to continue to move forward. Y seguir moviéndome hacia enfrente. Who's with me? ¿Quién está conmigo? Amen. 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 
We're going to get ready to open up this altar. Vamos a empezar a abrir nuestro altar. How many of you? ¿Cuántos de ustedes? Now, I can almost speak that with a, without a shadow of a doubt. Puedo decirlo sin duda. That every minister in this place is going to agree with me. Que cada ministro en este lugar va a estar de acuerdo conmigo. And you know how I know that? Y saben cómo sé esto? Because they stood behind this pulpit. Porque ellos también se pusieron atrás de este pulpito. And preached messages just like this. Y predicaron mensajes justo como este. And so I appeal, I appeal, my appeal is not to the ministry. Entonces este, esta voz no es para el ministro, my appeal ministros. is to the, the congregation. Esto es para la congregación. Do you believe what's written in this book? Ustedes creen lo que dice este libro? And do you believe that what is preached from behind this pulpit is from this book? Ustedes creen que lo que esto se predica es de este libro? Then some of you have gotten to a place. Entonces ustedes han llegado a ese lugar. Where you need to come and pick it up for yourself. Entonces ustedes tienen que venir y tomarlos por ustedes mismos. Everyone at the sound of my voice. Cada uno al sonar mi voz. I don't need to drag my wife to the altar. Yo no tengo que arrastrar a mi esposa I don't al altar. need to drag my kids to the altar. No tengo que arrastrar a mis hijos al altar. When they hear the word of God, cuando ellos escuchen la palabra del Señor, the word of God should drag them to the altar. La palabra del Señor los tiene que arrastrar hacia el altar. Can you say amen? Amen. Amen. This altar is open. Este altar está abierto. tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone your presence Lord Holy Spirit to be Shame is undone Here in your presence Your presence, Lord Holy Spirit Holy Spirit You are welcome here Come flood this place And fill the atmosphere And your 
Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I know, I know at times in our life, and I remember a specific time in my life when I just felt like I was so far away from God. I felt as if my prayers were not reaching heaven. And I remember something that was told to me during that time. My father-in-law said, don't worry. He said, just keep praying. Just keep, just keep reaching. Even if you don't feel that your prayers are reaching heaven. Even if you don't feel the power, if you don't feel the strength, keep on reaching out. And it wasn't just a few times later when I did that. I went down like any other time. I went down to the altar. I went down on the side of my bed and I started praying. And I remember that I 
could not stop crying. Something just broke. It seemed like that wall just broke down. And I just felt the love of God. I just felt the love of God just pouring into my heart. And I'll never forget that feeling, church. I'll never forget that feeling because sometimes we may think that, you know, hey, pastors don't go through stuff like this. Pastors don't feel things like that. We do. We go through periods of time where we need that strength, where we need that power that Pastor Larry was talking about this morning, where we need to be recharged. We need to get, get a hold of the power source again. Thank you, Pastor Larry. Thank you for preaching that word. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're going to ask the ushers if they would come at this time as we take up our Sunday morning tithes and offering. Praise the Lord. God is good. God is good. I want you to remember our services Wednesday night, 6.30 prayer, 7 o'clock. We're going to have Bible study again. Praise the Lord. I'm excited. Uh, the Lord is feeding us. Praise the Lord. He's feeding us on Wednesday nights. And I'm really excited about what the Lord has for us. Praise God. Praise God. Also remember the men's camp. If you have not reached out to Pastor Larry, he will give you that link uh, so that you can sign up and, and pay, for, uh, pay for men's camp. Praise the Lord. Again, I cannot endorse it enough. Um, you will be blessed. You will be blessed. And you will get to meet uh, brothers that you didn't even know you had. Praise the Lord. You'll meet brothers from uh, all over the churches there in Southern California. And so it will be... It will be a time. We're going to be up in the mountains. I, I think, Pastor Larry, i got to dig out some of my warm, my warm clothes because I think it's going to be pretty nippy up there, right? It's going to be pretty cold. Uh, we're up there in the mountains. You would think, hey, it's Southern California. There's no mountains. There are mountains. <laughs> it's by Big Bear, right, somewhere up there? So, yeah, there are mountains. It is cold, um, but it will be fun. It will be fun. Praise the Lord. Let us, let us right now pray over this tithes and offering. Lord Jesus, we are so thankful. We're so thankful for your word. We're so thankful for all that you've given us. Lord, and what can we give to you, Lord, but of our tithes and offering, Lord? Give, give of what you have blessed us with. And we thank you, Lord, for that opportunity this morning to give of ourselves, to give of our money, to give of our blessing, Lord. We ask that you would bless that offering, bless both the gift and the giver. In Jesus' precious name, and everybody say amen. Praise the Lord, church. You are dismissed. Praise the Lord.